NBA young boy puts Floyd Mayweather's daughter on blast. Nicki Minaj honors Juice World. Plus, 6ix9ine's possible release date is revealed. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life, your hip-hop roundup, starting with Smoke Perp and his new project, Dead Star 2. The track list features artists like Denzel Curry, Trippy Red, Lil Pump, and it almost had a verse from Kanye West. Smoke Perp spoke to Sway recently and revealed that Kanye recorded his part before diving back into Christianity, so he was in a different headspace. Perp says that they tried to edit the curse words out, but it just didn't sound right in the end, so they scrapped it. To 6 9 recall we told you all about the letter he wrote to the judge begging for forgiveness ahead of his sentencing next week. And aside from apologizing, Takashi also made mention of one of his co-defendants sleeping with the mother of his child, Sarah Molina. Well, Sarah read the letter and took to Instagram Live to react. We're a whole year later, and out of the many things, you choose to still run with that shit. To justify, because you feel like that was be your only justification at that point. It's just like, oh... I am so sorry, I am a role model, blah, 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 you know, but this is what they did to me. It's like you really taking half-ass accountability, like that shit is corny. You're not a changed person, you're still a narcissist. And for you, the fact that people are still like, oh, but that's your child's father, blah, blah, blah. You're so tranquila, like I've been mad calm, I've been going through my own shit and handling certain things. And it's just like, why? Why why mention me? And 6 9 wasn't the only one penning an emotional letter. TMZ reports nearly 30 other people submitted letters to Judge Paul Engelmeyer, some of which included his mother, brother, girlfriend, and bodyguard. Adding to this, Lawyers for Workers on Instagram issued a statement yesterday and explained why he thinks Takashi will be released next week. 6 9 update. Look for Takashi to get out this Wednesday, December 18th with a sentence of time served. When it's all said and done, he's likely to have served just under one year in federal prison. The way federal sentencing works is the government tells the judge what sentence the person should get. Here, the government hasn't asked for any sentence. And when the government doesn't ask for any sentence, what they're saying is, Time served, no sentence. But all right, there's another update in the Juice World story. As TMZ reports, it's unlikely his entourage will be charged for the 70 pounds of weed that were found on the private jet. Law enforcement told the site no one in Juice's crew claimed ownership of the bags, and there were no tags on the suitcases to identify the owner. Adding to this, the site says cops are looking for DNA and fingerprints on the bags. But even with that info, there is no way to prove the individuals ID'd actually packed the weed and or owned the suitcases. And let's stick with Juice World because Nicki Minaj honored the late rapper with a touching speech. Nicki took the stage at Billboard's Women in Music to accept her Game Changer Award and used her time to reflect on working with Juice. She told the audience about a couple of moments she and Juice shared together and described how passionate he was about music, saying, quote, he was honest and pure about what he felt and that inspired me. Nicki ended her speech with a powerful message that drugs aren't the problem, it's the way we fix our problems. She continued saying, it's so important that we don't pass judgment so that people don't feel ashamed to speak up and ask for help. But okay, let's switch gears and talk about NBA Youngboy because he remixed Michael Jackson's Dirty Diana and made it a diss track of sorts to his ex, Ayana Mayweather. The track talks all about their relationship and focuses on how Ayana allegedly ruined Youngboy's Maybach. Following the track's release, Ayana took to Twitter to react with a series of tweets. She said, the internet blows me like I real life hate the internet, y'all. Always trying to find some way to make some shit negative, leave me alone. Now I see why people commit suicide because of the internet. But all right, hit the sub, like, and bell button. Comment your favorite type of tea. Real tea, not this kind. And then follow me on social media at Ali Stagnita.